Hi, I'm Terry Cavell, and as you are probably thinking, it's time to get out those Christmas ornaments and start worrying about your Christmas tree. I hope you stored them properly because now you're going to suffer if you didn't. And you'll see I didn't always do that. So uh, what I want to talk about, though, are the big Christmas ornaments from the past. You've seen the normal-sized ones. But in the 1850s, the Germans started sending in ornaments to this country, which were called Kugels, which they used in their celebrations. They were great big round ornaments about this big, quite heavy, made out of glass, with a metal holder that was embedded in the glass. The Woolworth Company decided to import them in the 1890s, so they had to be around in the houses during Victorian times. But I live in a city where we all went downtown to see the Sterling Lindner Davis Christmas tree, which was a very large tree put in a four-story building. The, the, these are, it's an open space, four stories up. They brought in the tree. It was quite a production. It took three days. They had cranes and men hopping around and everybody trying to get the tree decorated. And then everyone took their children down to see it. And we were very fortunate one time. We were able to find one of the ornaments from that tree. It's quite large, as you can see. It's quite heavy, and it too has an embedded metal part. Now, just so you get some idea of the size, this is a normal-sized old ornament. This is the, this ornament's from about the 1920s. The, the Sterling Leonard Davis tree closed in 1950. The store closed in 1965, but it's still a big part of the tradition in our town, and you probably have something like that in your town. I thought you'd like to see what this really looked like. I didn't store this properly and it fell. Um, this is the top, which as you can see is, was metal, and it's, it's screwed on here. And you can see how thick the glass is. These were really quite heavy and really rather sturdy. I dropped mine on cement, so of course it, dropped, it broke. We got a few from a collector who had them and had stored them for years, and we later found others in other colors. We have seen them in blue, and in, and in red and in pink, and we've also seen them in the regular kugel shapes, the big round ones. So go out and try, keep collecting, you never know what you're going to find.